This video will show you the steps needed to create high availability for the policy server for IBM Security Access Manager. You should have read the sections related to this topic such as high availability for the policy server and the cluster support sections within the documentation. For this video we will be using two appliances one being Lab SAM Manager 01 and the second one Lab SAM Manager 02. Remember that the Lab SAM Manager 01 appliance was migrated from an existing 611 policy server. What we will do is we will be creating a cluster for Lab SAM Manager 01 and Lab SAM Manager 02 and we will be configuring high availability between the two. Access the admin console for the Manager 01 appliance. Log in and access the Manage System Settings cluster configuration. Note that when you access this page for the very first time, there are no cluster members defined. In order to define the first cluster member, select General. On the General tab, select the primary master IP address. Scroll to the bottom and select Save. Click here to apply the changes to the system. Once you made these changes, you will see the primary master show up as part of the cluster nodes. With this, you can now export the signature file. Now log in to the second Manager Sierra 2 appliance. On the second appliance, select Manage, Cluster Configuration, and select Import the cluster signature file to join the cluster. select join. Once you join the cluster the nodes will show both appliances. You can now click on the general tab and you will see that the primary master is defined as the other server. With this you can log out of this appliance and return to your master appliance. You would have to refresh to see that we have joined the two systems. Select the Replication tab in order to replicate the runtime component. Select Replicate with Cluster and select Yes. Once you enabled replication with the cluster for the runtime component, go to Manage System Settings, SSL Certificates, Select the appropriate certificates that you want to replicate with the cluster and also select replicate with cluster. Return to the manage cluster configuration. Select the secondary server and select refresh. Return to the Manager 02 appliance, log into the admin console. You can now see in the admin console if you select Secure Runtime Component that the runtime component is now configured and stopped. We now have a cluster of two servers with one master. In order to elevate the second server to be a secondary master server, return to the primary machine, which was our Manager 01 server, select Manage and Cluster Configuration. You see both servers, our master host and our standby. They both are accessible, both are synchronized, but only one is marked as a master. Select the General tab. In the General tab, Select the primary master IP, which is the 118. Select the secondary master IP, in our case this is the 119. 
and then enter a master external reference entity. This is an IP address of a external server that can be pinged from both masters, the primary as well as the secondary. It is used to determine if the current machine is down, meaning that I cannot ping the other master, and I cannot ping the reference entity. If I can continue pinging the reference entity, it is assumed that my server is up and the secondary server is down. In our case, we're using 9.48.172.1, which is the router in our environment. Select Save. Select Click here to review the changes and apply to the system. Select Deploy. Once the changes have been deployed, make sure that you restart the runtime. Select X to close the message. Go to Secure Web Settings, Runtime Component. Select Restart. Once the cluster is restarted, we can go look at Manage Cluster Configuration one more time. You see now that we have two servers in our cluster, both are masters. Select the General tab and you will see how the primary and secondary masters are configured. And if you scroll down, you can also configure a tertiary as well as quaternary master. Again, you would need a replica external reference entity when you create those third and fourth master servers. Creating those servers is done the same way as we've created the secondary server, except you have to repeat the process two more times. This completes the short video on how to set up HA for the IBM Security Access Manager All-in-One Appliance Policy Server.